homes one day be powered by solar energy? Right now, San Diego Gas and Electric is looking into that very possibility. Today, SDG&E showcased some solar technology in the East County that uses the sun's light and heat to generate power. News 8's Sean Stiles is live with this environmental alert. Sean? You know, Carla Barbara Lee, uh, in, a, in a word, yes, it looks like in the very near future, the sun will be playing a big role in energy collection here in Southern California. The folks here at SDG&E are very committed to that and say by the year 2020, 33 percent of that energy will be coming from renewable resources. And the folks at Infinia and Soul Focus are equally committed. Our company is committed to get 33% of our resources from renewable energy like the sun. So this is a good part of our future. SDG&E expects by the year 2020, 33% of our energy will come from renewable sources. Solar energy is the fuel source for this engine. The Infinia system uses a Stirling engine that works off of any heat source. Here we've taken uh, a concentrator dish and we take the reflected and concentrated sunlight right into the hot end of the engine. That engine then produces electricity. That electricity can be converted to work anywhere. We massage that electricity so that it fits the grid, whether we're in China or Spain or San Diego, and we can hook right into the grid safely. The Soul Focus system utilizes concentrated photovoltaic technology that converts the sun rays into electricity. It's a technology which is geared around being using much smaller amounts of photovoltaic material, which are the, the cells that are used to convert sunlight directly to electricity. And with this technology, you use very small amounts of that, and you replace that with glass in order to magnify the sun and get more sunlight on small cells, which basically comes down to lower-cost solar energy. By using photovoltaics, Soul Focus believes it can harness more of the sun's energy. The real beauty of this technology is that it's really in its infancy in terms of the efficiency. Uh, today, the cells we use in the systems are uh, about 38% efficient. The theoretical limits for them is 77. With both systems producing a clean way to generate power for the grid, our future is looking a lot more clear. And I'm standing right in the middle of the parabolic dish here. What this does is it grabs the sun rays and points it right at the Stirling engine. And that temperature, when it hits there, over 2,000 degrees. So solar energy has come a long way since I was a young man uh, doing the same thing, cooking hot dogs in Boy Scouts. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sean.